Hey, it's a beautiful day in Detroit on a Saturday in Eastern Market. We're at the Johansson Charles Gallery to see the Robert Sestock show in, on, and through. Let's go in. I can get the door open. Here. Whoa. Oh my, it's dark in here. Hi. Oh, wow. I'll say he did. A transformation has taken place in the Johansson Charles Gallery by Bob Sestock. It's good to come in from the bright, sunny, Eastern Market Day on a Saturday and see this veritable cave of stuff. Ooh. Some CCS students had come here for the opening. I had to miss it. They said, Gildy, you gotta see these huge paintings. I said, Oh, I will. Oh, wow, look at this one. I gotta take this in. Leave it to Sestock to install work in an unorthodox manner. Although, not that much. He's following the traditions of art history. Back when Peggy Guggenheim opened her gallery, Art of this Century, I believe that the paintings were hung on baseball bats projecting from a wall. of them. There's that guy again. I did another video a few weeks ago of a show that Bob had at the Detroit Brewery Works of all small drawings, hundreds of them, lots of energy in those too. Now, I don't know whether I should be reading this left to right or right to left. I like that running man right there. Yeah, I think he could have placed down 
this gallery has been here for quite a while, holding down the fort, as it were, on one side of Eastern Market. Artist galleries, I mean studios, all around Eastern Market area. People come to purchase from the farmers who bring their wares in. And then there's the J. Rainey Gallery on another end of Eastern Market. Close up this one. Wow, there's too much to look at. Another overview of the whole space. This is a huge space. You get a chance to scale by that little girl walking by. And that guy. This show really shows you what energy can be expended when you really got a, something to say. I love this one. It's got to be at least 20 feet long. Let's get a microcosmic view. Robert Maniscalco did a TV show called Art Beat that highlighted a number of Detroit area artists. Sestock was one of them. What's the name of this one called? No, that's, that's not it. And it showed Bob painting. He's a, an alumni of the College of Creative Studies when it was the Detroit Society for Arts and Crafts. He uses all media. He's known for being a sculptor, ceramist, printer, painter, as we see here. He breaks all rules. Lots of little canvases put together to make large canvas. He abstracts the figure, uses pattern. And oddly enough, there's a wonderful sense of color in here, even though it's almost all black, white, grays. on a pillar here. It's going to be a closing party on the 20th of December. I got to try to get here. And this is Bob Sesta. Let's end on this face. 